Hello, in this video I'll show you how to create a very simple AI and as an example I will use uh, the spider from Infinity Blade Adversaries pack which is free to download on Unreal Marketplace and we can start from scratch creating new blueprint from Base AI just like that but instead I will use example AI as a template so let's copy its blueprint and mm, behavior tree Now let's create a locomotion blend space for our spider. I will name it BS underscore spider. Now let's create animation blueprint for our spider. Okay, I will copy logic from example AI animation blueprint, so let's open it. And let's copy everything and I will remove unnecessary pieces. Okay, from anim graph, I will only take full body slot. As source, let's uh, plug our previously created blend space. Let's try to compile and create variables that are required. Okay, spider will not be blocking, so we can remove this part. And activity also. And finally, we can plug in direction and speed to our blend space. Okay, now let's duplicate and rename data tables during montages. We will replace them later. Let's also rename AI blueprint and behavior tree. And now we can replace uh, character mesh to spider and also animation blueprint that will be used by it. I will also change capsule size to about 140. And let's drag down character a bit. Okay, and now we need to change used montages data table uh, in get montages function. And let's also override can be backstabbed function to disallow backstabbing this spider. Since our spider will not be wearing any items, let's clear them in equipment component. Okay, let's also change its stats in Stats Manager. So increase his health a bit and damage. And let's also set back attack speed to 1. And one last thing to do here is to change behavior tree used by the spider. Okay, now let's handle animation montages for the spider. So I've already created a few of them. We have stone front and parrot, which actually are the same. Okay, now let's take a look at attack animations. So we have left uh, arm attack. It has rotate on and notify, which will allow spider to rotate towards target. And I've also set hitbox notify with collision type to left hand and right uh, arm attack is quite the same the only difference is collision type 
and we have tilt attack animation which is quite interesting because spider is attacking with his hands and pincers at the same time and for this I will create a new collision power type uh, let's name it custom1 ok and now let's set it as collision part in hitbox animation ok now we need to set up collision sockets so I already attached 5 for each arm and 2 for each pincer so let's take a look at them Now let's set up the sockets in blueprints. So firstly let's take a look at base AI blueprint. Let's open collision events and as we can see it already handles situation for left and right hand types using names from those arrays. Ok now let's go back to our spider blueprint. and I will create a variable which will hold all sockets names of hands and pincers. So firstly let's update uh, left and arm hand arrays to use all created sockets. Ok and now I will change type uh, to array of names and append this array with left and right hand array sockets. Ok and now I also need to uh, manually add pincer names to this array. So let's add 4 of them. Ok let's also change uh, debug mode in collision handle component so we can see it. And finally we can set that whenever collision type of custom1 is activated we will use sockets from new created array. And since we're here, I also wanted to mention that you can set ignored classes in the collision handler component. And we can, we can also change enemies classes in behavior component. Ok, now let's update montages in data table. So firstly I will remove rows that will not be used by, by spider. Ok, now we can modify light attack montages. Let's also modify heavy attack, stone front and parrot. And after that we can modify behavior tree. This service controls state of our AI 
so I will duplicate it to create new one used only by this spider let's rename it and now we can replace it in behavior tree do not forget to change behavior key there we can decrease attack speed a bit and since our spider will not be blocking let's remove all nodes related to it we also don't need to track stamina state so we can remove it as well and update behavior function is place where we decide what spider should do and in this case it will be very simple behavior so we can remove all those nodes leaving only range check and set behavior so whenever spider is in attack range let's set its state to melee attack uh, otherwise set its state to approach now let's clear behavior tree we can remove strafe behavior let's also simplify melee attack behavior leaving only light and heavy attacks and to change is in combat value example here I was using draw and disarm weapon animations and spider will not use those animations so we need to create new tasks which will change it so this is how it looks and this is how to create it and now let's simply uh, replace it I also forgot to call parents back in play in spider AI it's important so let's fix it and finally we can test our spider so firstly I will draw patrol path and set its spline okay now we can drop our spider and let's update its patrol path reference and finally we can hit play and test it and just wanted to mention that all files created in this video will be available to download in the description so you can download it and drop into this year's project and it should work and basically that's all I wanted to show you in this video so thanks for watching and bye